Well, let me just make sure. And hello, welcome to Easy Company Collectibles. I'm doing my live still. I'm just checking here to make sure we're live. Yeah. And as you can see, um, let me see. Yep, we're live. So, yeah. guys, um, welcome in. We have Denobi and we have Link the Jedi. Denobi, say hello. Hey. Denobi, hey. everybody knows Denobi. Hey, Denobi too. And then Link the Jedi. A little bit of introduction. Can you do a little introduction for yourself, uh, Link? So, yeah. So, I mostly do, um, like, insert, I obviously collect hot toys and stuff like that. And what I do is I like to create scenes and upload them to uh, Instagram. You know, sometimes I just come up with theories and, like, pictures. You know, I like to create a scene and I'll just put it on Instagram. And that's basically the medium I use. Even like Ray Park and Instant uh, Daniel Logan, like they even follow you, right? They yeah, they they, they, love, they like my stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. it's pretty cool, you know. Star Wars you know, theory uses your your photos and stuff like uh, yeah. that, so that's kind of just cool. a lot of people. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool, you know. I I just like to start a discussion about things, you know, and just I love to focus on the mythology of Star Wars on, in line with what George Lucas kind of envisioned. So. That's pretty much what I like to do. And Denobi likes to show off his Marty cases. <laughs> <laughs> but on, on today's show, we're going to talk about D23, what um, uh, Disney is doing with their live streams. Um, Link, you 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 uh, uh, requested that we talk about like what's the future of live like not live streams, so like the um, what do you talk about? The like, Disney Plus live action Disney, series, yeah. Basically. And and where, where they're going to go with like. What they call that? Like, uh, it's not animated, but it's like real. Yeah, live action. Live, live action. action. Like yeah, where they're yeah. going with live action? Because the recent shows they're coming up with is yeah. Kenobi, where which I'm pretty excited. Hopefully, hopefully. hopefully. <laughs> I don't know, Kenobi. Are you? I, I I know you're a big Marvel guy. You're a huge yeah. Marvel guy. Well, are we, but, well, first of all, did uh, can we establish are we sold? We we are all going to subscribe to the to the service, right? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. okay. It's going to be pure gold. I see it like that because I've never had a Netflix account. I've never had a Netflix account. And that's because there's shows everywhere. Yeah. Disney, Marvel, you have Star Wars, you have essentially everything the pop culture fan base is on. So that allows us to see Kenobi. We can switch over and we can see Ghost Rider. We can switch over and see other uh, uh, other stuff like that. Or So the that kind of stuff is cool. And then their announcement with Kenobi coming and then Ewan mm -hmm. McGregor on board. Yeah. Ooh, that, that's a gold mine. That's going to be a gold mine. Mm -hmm. But that's one of our topics. And then yeah, I, was, I was all on the Mandalorian just because John Favreau is on board. I mean, that to me yeah. was to get me on board. So, yeah. And that's the, that's my thing. Um, I'm actually excited for the Mandalorian a lot more than the rise of Skywalker. Uh, the Mandalorian is basically taking place in a time period where they completely abandoned. They We don't know what happened after Return of the Jedi. The most we ever got was Luke Skywalker story mode in uh, Battlefront 2, which was phenomenal. I don't it, know, Denobi, if you played that part the or watched the campaign of Luke Skywalker. On, I did. Uh, I played yeah. the most. Yes, I did. Yes. That the way well, he was looking I, for artifacts, yeah. Luke Skywalker was looking for right artifacts. when he found the compass, uh, which, to which went nowhere, yeah. He found the compass, which, yeah, it didn't pay off. <laughs> yeah, did, that's how he, yeah. he found the first Jedi temple, which is uh -huh. pretty cool. And uh -huh. I think it's so interesting that a video game told us, a, I mean, I don't, I'm, it was I'm very happy about it. It's just it's incredible how a video game was able to show that story, which. You know what I'm saying? There's so much opportunity. It just goes, it just goes to show, like with the Spider-Man game, that was <laughs> phenomenal to me. That was the yeah. best Spider-Man I've I've seen from movies, right. to shows to video games. This, this, this was the game, was the game where where the uh, 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 the Empire saw the the that star explode from the Forest Moon of Endor, right? Right, yeah. right, right. Yeah, that's an awesome. Oh, that was an awesome cutscene. <laughs> oh, beautiful! What the, that was when the Inferno Squad landed on Endor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was cool. Was that was pretty good. That was really interesting. Yep, that was pretty good. And um, like just like I was just saying with the Spider-Man game, like he was saying, like it's funny how they can roll in and tell a story so much better than a lot of the things they're doing. Like The Last Jedi was such trash, and then you have stuff like video games mm -hmm. telling stories ten times better 
way better than films that's spending millions and 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 video games are over here like you're playing the story and it, it just it allows for so much more and like i said the spider-man and i'm sure Denobi, you can agree that spider-man to oh, me yeah. is the best spider out there the best peter oh. parker the best mm -hmm. spider-man we have i i bought the playstation 4 specifically for that game yeah, link, I got the yeah link you got the red spider-man ps4 too yeah, I got that one. I had to get it. Uh, yeah. That game was phenomenal. The story was phenomenal. Uh, Yuri Lowenthal, the guy that voiced Spider-Man, was incredible. His, you know, the emotional Yuri, aspect. Isn't that that name? They use the same name for the the police. Yeah, Yuri. I was like, wait yeah. a minute, that guy has. Yeah, yeah. yeah he no, actually went to Sideshow right. recently and and like posed with figures and stuff, which is pretty cool. Oh yeah, but um, um, that's one of our th first things, but. Let's let's go over some um, any uh, recent uh, figures that we've picked up lately. Uh, Denobi, we'll start off with you. Do you have anything new? Any new okay. diecast? I finally got the Dooku. I unboxed it and it's in my uh, display case. And then I also got uh, oh, I've been I've been back I've been backpedaling. I've been trying to get uh, stuff. I'm I'm in fear mode right now. I just put the payment plan on John Wick. Because oh, I'm right. in a big hurry to get him, but I do want to lock him in because I am scared he's going to sell out. So mm -hmm. I don't need him now, you know. And I have I'm getting hit with pre-orders right now, so I'm like, so that's a that's a little shortcut there. Uh, I was like, I don't want to lose John Wick, so I'll put him in a play, payment plan and I, I'll get him later on in the year. I'm not in a hurry for him right now. There's a big so, FOMO going on right now because, like me and uh, Link was talking about, just literally seconds before the live stream, they're making what Link? Well. This, uh, you want the bad news or the good news first? <laughs> let's, do, let's, do the, okay, let's do the bad news first and why okay. people will start to go FOMO, like really well, crazy yeah. on FOMO. Yeah, well, um, the news yeah. that Sony and the MCU are breaking their contract with Spider-Man. and I just read that. Yeah. yeah so apparently that he's going to be – That's yeah. speculation though, right? It hasn't been confirmed yet, right? I don't think it's been confirmed, but all of the major outlets are – you know, like IG, like for example, it. credible outlet like IGN.com. Yeah. So if they're saying it and they're straightforwardly saying like, that's it. Like this is, and they're not like, is this the end? This is like the end for Spider-Man's MCU, which it's going to make the hot toys prices skyrocket again. So do for we, the, do we, do we know if Tom Holland is contracted or is he, is he did he complete his contract? Cause I thought he was contracted for a certain amount of films with right, the MCU. Right. I, I have yeah, no I, idea. I thought I, I thought, thought I think we're getting one more. Yeah. yeah, we're getting one more. Okay, that's what I thought. I hope so. I really do because I feel like we need that third movie, you know, to complete his arc. In my yeah. opinion, oh, I mean, I, I, because, because yeah, yeah. So, I want to say there's one more that he's committed to, and then that's it, and then things right. get renegotiated again because that's his trilogy. So I can. Yeah. See yeah right he's he's had an awesome run it's he's kind of sucks run. but he's had an awesome run he's in all mm -hmm. of the like billion dollar movies yeah that is a very lucky lucky guy mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. robert downey jr is one of them of course but tom holland like spider-man you we didn't expect i didn't expect that out of spider-man coming in to be that that crazily big oh, yeah, like, yeah, good yeah but yeah they made, first, they made yeah, they, when they, i first heard it when I first ever heard about Tom Holland, I'm like, oh, God, they got another little scrawny kid. What's he going to do? <laughs> That's what oh. I first thought in Homecoming. I was like, he's a little whiny, little bitch type of kid. And I was like, eh, I'll just blow it off and whatever. But he Homecoming, he was okay for me. And yeah. then once I saw him in Infinity War and Endgame, he knows how to act. He can pull off real good oh. like emotional scenes and make you feel bad. And like, mm -hmm. he's very sympathetic. So I like that. Yeah. So hit him with the uh, good news now. Well, this I think is official because the director came out and said it about uh, the Wachowski about Matrix Four. So apparently that's in uh, in the works because uh, Lana Wachowski came out and said something about and Keanu she, Reeves. Yeah, is Keanu and Carrie Ann Moss, which is pretty cool. So I'm thinking, Denobi, for your John Wick reasoning, it would go because if this is set to release and then you have John Wick the figure is still available on Sideshow, and then we get news of a confirmed one, people are going to start to pick it up. Wait a minute. Wait, I'm confused. Wait, are we still talking about Spider-Man, or are we talking about The Matrix? 
what we're, talking I- about, we're talking about the good news now that the Matrix is being Matrix Four yeah. is being made with Keanu in it. So okay, that's supposedly right. Like, that's been heavily rumored for a while, though. Do do we get confirmation on that? That's been uh, yeah. I think Lana, Lana Wachowski, which is I believe both the people that direct it, the Wachowski brothers, and well, I well, think she sisters now. <laughs> yeah. No. So well, I think that's going to happen. So there's people that are willing to give these two money because they've they've been on a string of duds. I didn't think I didn't think the, the Wachowskis were trusted with money from the studios anymore. I'm serious. They've been pumping out you know bomb after bomb after bomb. I didn't think anybody would produce anything. For them. Right. <laughs> you know what? But if you get Keanu, Keanu's on, just trend now. Yeah. Then then you'll get producers to sponsor it because. Yeah, if you look at their track record, they haven't. What Jupiter Rising, uh, Cloud Atlas, do they've been they've been hurting Warner for <laughs> they've been hurting the studios for. A while. Yeah, it says yeah. it says here Keanu Reeves and Carrie Ann Moss will return for Matrix Four with Lana Wachowski returning to write and direct, and production beginning in early 2020. Oh, there you go. All right. Well, they they have my ticket then. <laughs> and, and that's what I was saying. If you get John Wick, we're going to obviously see Matrix. Keanu Reeves. Yeah. <laughs> we, we just automatically call him John Wick now. Uh, <laughs> right? John Wick. <laughs> he has no name anymore. He's just Mr. Wick. He's the Baba Yaga. Um, that's the only way those two are ever going to make another movie again, those those, those sisters. I mean, they've, they've been really – they've been making a, a straight – I mean, anybody – I mean, Cloud Atlas. Ooh, uh, was he Jupiter Rising? Oh man, uh, hmm. Speed Racer. Ooh. <laughs> Some man. movies that just completely. I, I haven't seen them. Yeah, there you go. That's why. They, <laughs> <laughs> that's why they sting. No one. Could it be for a bad marketing? Could it be for? I could like I could give them that because we didn't really see much of marketing when those like Speed Racer and stuff like that. It was, it was like have- and, and 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 all sorts of crud. Those were supposed to be strong IPs, and and you know. maybe maybe I just didn't tune in. Yeah, well, I, don't saw it. I mean, you guys didn't. So there you go. No one saw it. That, yeah. that doesn't help. Yeah. That doesn't help the case. <laughs> Nobody saw this. So I want to I want to bring in some uh, peeps. They got they got this. Paul Douglas said he got class tomorrow, so should be studying. But this is more interesting. You guys have my undivided attention. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> and uh, Moses Toy Box. Uh, he he said he got the. Uh, cool statue from the collector's edition and stuff in that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah. and I actually um, watched. I came across his videos. Yeah. Because um, I was looking up something about the Predalian Hot Toys, and I saw one of his videos, and it said that how um, Moz's toy box. He was explaining how like if you have any loose joints, you put a piece of paper towel in it. He gave this whole tutor- tutorial. It's on his YouTube channel. So Moz's mm-hmm. toy box on his youtube channel it, it, it should work for even iron man and that's it's perfect because you put a little paper towel like right over the joint when you pop it out and you put it back in and it tightens up the joint and i'm like i mean you do, think do you, you just know? leave it stuck in there do you just leave it stuck in there or what just leave it stuck in there like however thick you need it to be for however tight you want it and it 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 basically we reworks the articulation of the figure and i'm like i'm looking at it because my Hot Toys Predator head came, it was fairly loose, and the thighs are kind of swivelly very easily. Yeah. I just thought that was kind of cool, and that's his name right there, Moz's Toy Box, and a little shout-out to him, too. And he, he was real nice. He talked to me and was able to answer questions and stuff like that, so just a little shout-out for him. Um, yeah, uh, we got, I we think got it's pretty cool when people do that, when they, yeah, when they put out their captions that yeah. help us. And Rob Swallow, Hall, Tom Holland to play the new Iron Man, which is rumored. It's like basically a Snoke theory for a lot of a lot of people. But um, that's funny. Far from home over. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even uh, entertain that rumor. <laughs> yeah, that's 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 almost like a Snoke theory. That's why I said it's it's almost like a Snoke theory. Matrix yeah. four equals awesome six scale figures, which is true. If if we get more Keanu. And you got uh, Steve, who uh, he made it. He was trying to. He, I forgot. See where you're from, but um, he made it. Uh, and Cloud Atlas was awful. So I guess Rob Solo saw it. Um, yeah, it's all uh, Tom Hanks and what's her name? Uh, Storm from the first uh, X Men movies. I can't think of her name. 
Uh, Ali Berry. Ali Berry. Yeah. 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 I saw it. I was like, man, it was a mess. So a mess. And um, so as far as um, uh, do you guys want to pick up the topic about the Stanley or do you want to go into D23? And so their life. Let's talk so, about uh, Stanley Denobi, Denobi, what did you say you picked up recently? Oh, uh, the Dooku. I picked up the Dooku recently. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Been, yeah, the Dooku. It was okay. okay. You guys, uh, Easy and Paradox and a few others, you guys mentioned – exactly what i was expecting it's not much it's not much it's not I, much no but that's yeah. that's the thing like with these figures like old man obi-wan these old like stan lee it's not even much yeah but it has this presence present yeah. because of the actual character which oh, man it's christopher lee though it is it is yeah. uh sorry. did you realize how big he is sir he's tall sir he, christopher lee he's knighted right sir yeah sir, sir christopher, christopher lee, lee. Yeah. Sir Christopher, yeah. No, they 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 knocked out the skull. I don't think we're gonna get another Christopher Lee from the prequels again. No, I, you know, no we're not. Such a hit or miss. Uh, I I thought they did a good job. That's the thing with some of these characters. It's it's such a gamble. You, there's no like, oh, I'll wait for another Black Widow to be released down the road. Some of these characters, you you got if that's it. Jump on because if you ever want to go back down the road on eBay or pick them up, you will pay. You'll pay dearly. Yeah, and um. Like you can see the size difference. Look how look. There's Count Dooku and there's yeah. Palpatine. Palpatine mm -hmm. is like Dooku is like, bye. I'll slap you. And he's like, but he's here. He's like six seven in real life. Well, he was. I mean, he was. He's a yeah. tall guy. He's a yeah. tall actor. That's yeah. why he played Dracula for decades because he's very yeah. tall. Yeah, huge. Yeah, and he has those mm -hmm. long fingers. <laughs> That's his force lightning. That was good. Yeah. yeah. This is the only time where Hot Toys was accurate with their thing with their hands with dooku because uh -huh. their their hands are always so large mm -hmm. yeah. and link i know you picked up a ton i was i was about to move on to the next topic but link i know you picked yeah. up a ton lately i got man i i literally in the same week i got or a couple two weeks i got dooku i got yoda i mm. got stormtrooper and darth maul <laughs> it was overwhelming yeah. yeah i'm getting hit but, right too yeah it's there was a period early in the year where it was dormant, and now a lot of the people, so I have to kind of manage it. And it's like, oh, yeah. I don't want to miss out on certain things right. because, you know, like John, I, Wick, I, don't, I don't need John Wick now, but I can keep him in the back burner and pick him up later. Right. It's fine. I don't, I don't need to chase him right now. And that's that's that leads to my pickup. Um, that's why my predator came in. A little bit later than the initial release because it's what it was like the back burner, like you said. And I kind of I wanted a predator, and luckily I got it because that guy's sold out. You can't get him anymore on Sideshow, and people are like, "Damn it, I should have got this." Because this updated 2.0 Wolf Pred. Oh my god! Like I don't know if you shot saw my shots. It's it's mm -hmm. it's epic yeah. looking guy. Like, very nice. But you know how I feel about the whole uh, Predator line IP. Not the line, not the Hot Toys, the IP. Now, if you want to say AVP, then yeah, I understand if you're about to do that. But um, what do you have I to think, say about I think, Predator? I think Predator IP is is an exhausted intellectual property. I don't. I I I think it's running its course. I think it's running out of gas. Yeah. Now now because of yeah. the directors and how, who's screwing it yeah. over basically, and Fox. And that goes for Aliens too, by the way. Aliens, I think. Same thing. No, I don't think I don't think yeah. so. What was the last Aliens movie that that did so well? Covenant, that everybody saw? Covenant? Covenant, Alien Covenant, and then this yeah. Prometheus. Yeah. If you actually go into like the mentality and like you get in, you dive straight head on into their lore. Uh huh. It's insane. Which one? The lore constantly changes. It's worse than the X Men universe. Prometheus and the, Alien. The continuity sucks in the Predator and the Alien universe. I don't. Those two don't even exist. Do you know that? I don't have time for an encyclopedia historical. <laughs> uh, right. phone that's just that's a mess. But yeah. you know they don't exist together. Um, Ripley, I think. Who's you mean there? they don't exist? They exist here. They exist there. That's too much, man. My life is too busy for that. What are you talking about? Really, Scott? But really, Scott even said that predators are not. A part of his alien storyline, he's totally said no. They're trash. Get them out. But there was a the, the studio back then when they made AVP, at uh -huh. that time somehow they snuck it in. And Ridley Scott now is like they're not even involved. Like like uh, engineers and aliens 
and uh, xenomorphs and stuff, they don't exist in the same. But, but easy. When I, go, when I go to the movies, I don't have you my side having you here explaining to me. But that's why I'm here. That's the, why I'm here because I'm, I'm X from the uh, from the Jedi tree. I don't I don't have you there. <laughs> Janabi, this is what's going on with the historical time. You know, I don't have no, that's too much, man. But if you can get the and I'll show you right here. If you can oh, see, the, hold on. Let's get back to Stan Lee. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I have to show you. If you get this, get this, the Alien Six film collection from Wally World, it'll it'll just redo your mind with Ridley Scott saying that predators don't exist. But anyway, my pickups. <laughs> I'm sorry, but anyway, you, you I was supposed to stop you and you, you're here stopping me. But anyway, my pickups are John Wick, Predator, uh, Count Dooku, and what was the other one? Hmm. What did, what I, did I, you get? I got third. Oh, Spider Man, that's what I got. Spider Man, oh, yeah. So mm -hmm. those four came in one week, and then I have Stormtrooper Return of the Jedi coming in a few. Should be like a week or two by from Big Bad. So are that's why. Hey, are you uh, getting the war machine? The war machine's machine. coming too. I forgot about that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Speaking He's of the stormtrooper, uh, I told Easy I literally got a Sith trooper base with my stormtrooper from Sideshow. Really? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. It's got he's got um fifty uh freaking donation right here. I don't know what that is, but um he's got a Sith trooper. Base, it's so yeah. weird. You gotta show. It's you gotta so show funny. Denobi when you uh, get a chance. Uh, send that to him. It's so weird. Um, that's weird to see. But um, like on purpose. I'm confused. I don't. No, it was like an accident. Yeah, there like... Oh shit! It just say Sith Trooper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, actually, that's, that's actually the picture I sent to Sideshow, so they can send me the correct nameplate. So wow. <laughs> I, I was at it. I'm like, whoa, where am I? You know, I'm like, am I looking at the right thing here? Which That's, trooper is it? Which which trooper is it from which film series? Return, Return of the Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Okay. It's the recent one that just came out, that sideshow show. Yeah, there was another one quite recently on One Six Republic. The nameplate was upside down. Upside down, and it's glued on now. They're not loose anymore. So what they're doing is they're they're gluing the seams in now with the nameplates. So it leaves a lot of residue or whatever when you try to pop it apart. I see. That's oh, what I've yeah. seen recently. I haven't tried it. Okay. So uh, let's see what's going on up here on the chat. Um, so, thank you. I was actually learned that fix from a Facebook group. So that's where he got it from. Uh, geeking out. He says, place your our, our order on Iron Spiders and MCU Spider-Man. Sony's canceling there the new deal. We're in the end game now. I mean, I don't think... <laughs> I don't think it's going to go so crazy because they're going to have a fix for it. I mean, they can't really kick out a billion dollar. Well, no, they, Sony, Sony thinks that they're hot stuff now because of the animated film. Uh, the Spider-Man PS4 game is the best selling console game. I want to say it broke certain records. So it is Sony, it's back on track. Their, their confidence is extremely high. And um, you know they're they're working under a, a, a really strict peace treaty with the MCU, and I think they are they're 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 done with that. I think they want to like okay, uh, we're we're back on track. The whole Andrew Garfield thing, you know, debacle is 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 in the past. Uh, Venom, everybody made fun of Venom. Venom broke records. It's so right. Their their self esteem is extremely extremely high. So this is coming again. Uh, Tom Holland, I think, for one more film, and then we'll we'll go. I mean, we'll go from there. I guess Phase Four. But I I, um, I think I think they may not even do that third film because of that's why everyone's tripping out. Mm. So that's why, like, literally, if you go on Twitter right now, everything that's trending, Sony, Andrew Garfield. I don't know why Andrew Garfield is trending, but Andrew Garfield, Tom Holland, Venom, Spider Man. MCU, Kevin Feige. It's crazy. Who's the first Spider Man from uh, Sam Raimi? I forgot his name. Uh, Tobey Maguire. The best Spider Man, I feel. He was, he was in the news last week because he wanted to. Uh, um, there was talks in these in the animated uh, in the Spider Verse that they were going to bring him because for, for voice. That's that's one of the cool things with these guys that you can use their you can use their their, their voice talents and, and right. which, which would make sense if you can bring back. 
J. Jonah Jameson. Oh, oh man. Did, yeah. yeah, so yeah. why not bring back these guys? And it all makes perfect sense. So that's great. It doesn't bother me. Speaking of that, you know the, that Spider-Man, the one that went out of shape and stuff like that and into the Spider-Verse, that was um, actually based off of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. Really? Well, yeah, remember he did the dance and stuff like that in the yeah. beginning? Well, like like Spider-Man. Yeah, yeah, that alternative, you know, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> all right, we're going to go to the next topic of Stan Lee, um, his packaging and the Stanley was kind of old news, but then now we see a little packaging. But before that, we're going to show uh, a little bit. Anybody know about Dooku's belt? Is it I removable? think it is removable. It has like that little Velcro strap on the back, I believe. It should be because every belt is removable. Yeah, uh, the true. only belt that isn't removable that I'm aware of is I have the uh, Ben Kenobi, the Obi Wan Kenobi Mythos from Sideshow, the figure. Uh -huh. And that one is not removable. I had to actually uh, remove the glue. And I added belt, Velcro straps on my own. So that's the only that, one yeah, that I'm aware of. Yeah, so we have $50 from JW. I don't know where that 50 is. I don't know how you get it, but just dropping in to say hello. Um, thank you if it's somewhere. I don't think oh, I got it, though. <laughs> I don't think generous. I got it. I don't think I got it. I don't know. I don't see it anywhere. But... <laughs> okay, Dino and I are going to fight. <laughs> why? Well, I wonder why he's going to fight you. But fight um, what? What the predators? Uh, uh, it's got to uh, be because uh, Moz is predator is against an iron suit against a nanotech. That that'll oh, be. A big fight. Did you see that? You remember yeah. that? Huh? Did you remember what I sent you? That thing, or I tagged you in the story. Iron Man mixed in with a xenomorph. Yes, I did. <laughs> that was sick. I was like, oh my god. Yeah. No, yeah. Get out! Come on, don't do that. <laughs> Promethea trilogy is trash. Um, I no worries. Let's see if we have anything. Venom was superb. I can't wait for part two. The last Toby Venom was trash. I think I like Venom and Toby. I love him too. So, yeah. um, uh, let's see a little bit more. Dooku's boot improved the same as Tarkin's boot. It's a little bit improved to me, right, guys? You're right about those Dooku boots, man. That's that cheap pleather, boy. It's cheap I'm pleather, like pleather, but I think a little pleather. bit <laughs> over. It sucks. Man, yeah, I, it looks good. It's it's for looking. It's not for cooking. So if you try to mess with it, it does ring. <laughs> yeah, but thankfully, Dooku is not the type of figure that you po you pose very dramatically. You know what I'm saying? So you always have him standing upright, putting yeah. his hand behind his back. Yes. With his saber. Yeah. Or, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why a lot of people are like, it doesn't have that. And that's why in my videos, I don't go through articulation too much because mm. some figures like Dooku, like, do you really want to see how far his elbows and like joints can bend? Like, this no. is did you put your lightsaber in on your Dooku? Not yet. I have to send okay. him. I was thinking about sending him next week or so. Time frame I'm getting Dooku, a dual bladed maul, and uh, Obi Wan Kenobi all, all done up. Damn, so that's gonna be that's gonna be sick because that place is gonna be lit up. As you can see, Anakin and Luke Skywalker is bright. Denobi, yeah. you're, probably, you're probably tempted, aren't you? Oh, what he's going to. To get them sabers done. I'm gonna get um I I've done it. You know I've done the sabers. I'm gonna get my Dooku. I'm gonna show you how I got. So in the meantime, I was playing with him last night. I wanted to Armand. Uh, let's, let's do a pose you got him into. Okay, when he's holding the star plan. Yeah, I love the hologram. Look at mm. this, by the way. Here I'm gonna show you a little defect here. Look at that plate. Look how that warp. Look at that mess. You see the plate right there? You see mm. that? Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Popping out actually, a little bit. Actually, you guys I think, think you guys, film, but no. you guys, you guys, anyway. you thought it was like Hot Toys starting to do that. I think they've always done that with the plates. Yeah, because my Obi Wan Kenobi old man came yeah. like that. It came warped. The plate yeah. came warped, and I kind of disregarded it. No. But I mm. think they've always done it like that. I've it's never, always, I've never paid attention to that actually. It's always yeah. glued on. Actually, now, now, Denobi, you show me that. I, I, I have that on my uh, old man, uh, Kenobi. Yeah. His plate is warped. So, yeah, I kind of want to peel it off, uh, but I don't like futzing around with my hot toys. Same with the, well, you the arm and, when, uh, when yeah. you tell telling Pago the lesser, remember? Uh huh. The guy with the they got to stop doing those uh, light up arm LED stuff. I got. Yeah. I, you get. I don't use those. Yeah. Save me ten bucks, hot toys. But um, next topic, Stanley, Stanley, released, Stanley, Stanley, Stanley released, no. and as soon as everybody saw this vintage carded box, mm. 
I have a lot of people trying to like, they're telling me they're going to order a second one. They're going to go for a, like making fake accounts. And there's people getting banned on SciShow for getting a second account to get more figures. Um, what oh, do you think? Is that one limit? It's one per, it's one per person. person. It's one per okay. person. It's on a wait list open right now. Uh, mm -hmm. It was sold out at one point. At it one was. point, the word sold out came on and then it went away. Then it went wow. to wait list and the wait list was packed. Now it's so it fluctuates. Yeah. I can right. imagine I, I can imagine them it getting sold out within the next few days because yeah. with this vintage card release, um, a lot of people are wanting to scalp and resale, which kind of sucks, but it makes sense because it's gonna yeah. be worth a lot of money. Yeah. Um. This is one. Luckily, I got it. Um. What do you guys think about that kind of a packaging? That if you saw the shipper, the shipper is huge. So the shipper is huge. So it's 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 a plastic blister pack, right? Uh huh. And and I didn't understand why they were doing that, but I understand now is because of the stand parted lenticular backdrop that's that is reflective with light. You can't mm. bend that. It's not a cardboard. You guys know Wait. that. Right? Wait, it, comes with a, it comes with it comes with like an art yeah. lenticular backdrop. I, it's the first time I've ever seen Hot Toys. It's, ever it's that. ridiculously nice. I see. Yeah, it. and it can't nice. fold, so it has to be a giant square. So it's packaged in that rigid. So, because I was like, "What? What is this? What is this plastic blister? It looks like a NECA product. What? The, what is this?" Mess? Right. So and then I went through the accessories, and then I saw that. I was like, "Oh, that makes yeah. that makes perfect sense." The so what is, what the, is the backdrop though? What like light reflects what? It is it is a lenticular, lenticular. backdrop, so lenticular. it's designed to it, it's designed to reflect light to give it that shimmer effect, like of space. Yeah, yeah. remember it's Stan Lee's in space in an uh -huh. suit, so you want the backdrop. Yeah, you got to go back easy and look at that because I missed it. He was he yeah. was getting held by like. Yeah, but the but it comes with a it comes with like an art piece. It comes with a a, a background. I didn't right. even know it came with a background. Every, every, background, every background we get, it's usually like a cardboard fold out. Uh -huh. I guess for Spider Man, I looked at that. I'm like, I'm not putting this shit. I'm not putting this thing up. I and thought then, about it. I was going to put it. Oh no, I don't I want that. It. I was like, this is a low res piece of crap. Oh, it's low res. It's no, no. I don't. I don't need that. But the Stan Lee has like an artwork, a uh -huh. lenticular artwork backdrop. I'm like, and you can't fold that. And I want to say it's like twelve, like ten by ten or nine by nine, and it has to be kept rigid. And that uh, that casing makes perfect sense now because I thought it was Hot Toys taking you know a shortcut. I thought they were trying to save money. They love to save the money. clamshell, yeah, yeah, the clamshell, yeah, the uh, the clamshell. which I kind of I kind of like it. Base, it also, you have the base. Oh, good, right under. They put a base uh, outside of the box as well. Mm -hmm. The base that leads yeah. us on on the moon. Whatever he's, whichever planning he's on. Yeah. yeah. Did you pre-order it when you did your buy buying pass easy? Because I, when you did it, I was the soon, the second that thing came up for pre-order, I jumped on it because I I knew Stanley was hot. I mean, the first mm -hmm. one, the first was, one was in such high demand. I'm like, oh, people aren't gonna aren't gonna think about this. They're gonna jump on this thing. Oh yeah, because I was already in the market before he died. Yeah, I was in the market. I was looking for him and I said, I want it. But then I'm like, do I really want to spend 200 bucks on an old dude? And I'm like, eh, skyrockets up to $274. And yeah. I'm just like, man. And as soon as this Toy Fair, Toy Fair exclusive, uh -huh. Stanley in costume, I jumped on it immediately. Yeah, it looks better. Yeah, I'll it just looks it. better. He's in character. He's yeah. coming with a little bit of here and there. And then with the release of this packaging, like we're talking about, it's even more desirable. It's it's one of those must have figures. And I was thinking to sell it once I get it because I'm like, I don't know what I feel about this, but like you sing with this uh, lenticular backdrop and then the, the value in him, he's dead. And then the, the way it's presented in the boxing, it's one of those grail figures to keep. And I, I, I feel it's it like, I'm not gonna, I feel like I'm not gonna sell it, but I, I don't wanna be like, oh, I'm never gonna sell any of my things because I sell a ton, but. Yeah. And it's not, like I said, it's not. So I, I just jumped on sideshow. So the wait list is back open again. It, I mean, it is, it is two seventy five. It's, it's a lot, but, but I think it's worth it. At but the time I, I didn't yeah. even think it was worth it, but I, I yeah. still grabbed it. Yeah. Well, 294. Don't forget the shipping. The shipping. Yeah. Oh, true, yeah. Yeah. And Denobi, you're in California. Uh, Vegas. Oh, okay. So yeah. Whoever lives in Kelly, probably they charge them what? 10% extra for tax. 
I don't pay tax with Sideshow. That's one of the. I'm saying uh, for Big for Bad just started. Yeah, oh, Big California. Bad. Yeah, I've I've actually cut back on my purchases from Big Bad. Um, yeah, they charge Michigan uh, and people in Michigan uh, tax. They've yeah. been doing that though, because they're in Wisconsin. We're neighbors, so. Okay. Oh, yeah. They just started Georgia taxing as far as Big Bad goes, but I I, I hope. That's easy. Do you pay tax easy from no. Sideshow? Sideshow, no. Uh, okay. Big Bad, no. yes. Okay. So, it's like, so I don't know. It's a big difference. You know, when you're spending $400 in a hot tub, oh, yeah. my tax is 9.1. And, yeah, and big bad tax. Like, yeah, so that's close to 40 bucks. That's a big difference. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. So it's like as much as I want to keep buying from Big Bad, I, like there's certain points like figures like uh, Iron Man. I, I've, I've already placed my, before the tax drop, I've placed my <laughs> Iron Iron Man uh of Iron Patriot and Iron Man uh, bell damage with them, so that's a thousand dollars worth of figures. That's I nice. Uh, that way, you're grandfathered in. You yeah. don't have to pay. The that I think it's grandfathered in. I think I read that. I'll I'll What's grandfathered. I'll, I'll have to. Huh? What's grandfathered in? No, I'm the saying tax. like he doesn't have to pay the tax uh, because he bought it before, before the tax came into. Mm. So. Yeah, but, yeah. Um, I think Amazon. You know, you know. It's funny you say that because I remember when Amazon started charging tax. Uh, that was the time when the Battlefront first came out, and I had bought the Vader uh, PS4 from Amazon for three ninety nine flat, and then the tax came in, and then they charged me tax on my system, and I said, "Hey, I ordered this way before the tax came in," and then they finally changed it for me. No, but they were charging people's previous orders. They started taxing people's previous orders before they started the tax. So I was that's kind of weird. So I don't know why Sideshow doesn't charge tax. Not that I'm complaining, I just don't know <laughs> yeah. why. Thank God they don't. <laughs> yeah. Well, and somebody else told me that Sideshow double boxes if requested. Yeah, I think it's ten bucks extra or something like that. Bucks, I didn't know that. I was like, somebody was yeah. ranting at me and all that stuff, and I was like, "Yes, stop yelling at me." I don't know. Yeah, because Big yeah. Bad Toy Store does it for free, and then Sideshow will do it if if you're uh, um, if if it's requested. But I I do know there's a fee. I don't care. I can't save the boxes. I yeah. I save the original packaging, but the actual bronze shipper, I do have to chuck it. I I don't have the space. Mm. I I. Don't I? I've, I've seen way too many. I, I was to a point where I would bury myself with all these boxes, and I tell collectors if you get rid of the brown shipper, the amount of space that you can create. Yeah, is oh, just on the brown shippers. The brown shipper, yeah, yeah. This right here, the, the, the little brown. little half inch extra. This right here, this right here, the little half inch extra that when you have thirty of them will free up, you know, x amount of space. Yeah, yeah. This brown shipper. Yeah. That's crazy. I didn't. Yeah, I know. That. All you all you think about is that it's a half an inch. But if you do it to forty figures, yeah, the amount of space. Because I did it. I, I I my my closet. I rearranged it. I got rid of all the brown shippers, and I was able to pack in like six more figures. I'm like, wow! By getting rid of the brown shippers, I created six more slots for six more. Right. Figures. Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that, that's weird because my closet. I got about like thirty some figures. I kind of want to try it, but I love my brown shippers. They protect the boxes. Mm. I can't. Um, you well, you you keep the plastic. You you can keep like yeah. the plastic. You know, well, it's just I, like, I, very yeah. from, like dents and dings. Yeah. I recently been purchasing from Hong Kong, the sellers. So that I don't get the brown shippers. They just send me the the, the oh, figure and and the plastic, and then they put it in like a shipping box. But they don't. They wrap it up with like a bunch of you know padding or whatnot. But. Mm. Uh, they don't send me brown shippers. I think just Sideshow sends it with brown yeah. shippers. If you kick the family out, you get more space. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's one solution, but right. I, I I hide stuff in the attic. <laughs> the like, attic oh, yeah. To me, the attic is scary. Um, putting stuff uh, up there. Um, maybe you get a maybe you get a version of Toy Story up there. Yeah. All them. <laughs> but the humidity and the heat levels out here and and like the moisture and stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. this, this, this. Yo, desert, I can get away with it. I can get it. I I know there's no mildew, and I, I I'm in the desert. Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. the, Hot Toys, the Hot Toys DeLorean box. 
you know, those type of big prime things. one boxes. Good God, yeah. prime one. Prime Do you have any prime one? Uh, no, I have a couple statue pieces, but no, I don't want to. Get prime one. Yeah. All right. Is there any topics that we're missing out on? What, what, well, did we miss anything? I mean, what what do you guys think about like what do you think is next to release for Star Wars? I mean, Best Ben Leia and Luke uh, Deluxe is supposed to be out. Jesus, uh, Crate Luke, you know and those three. And speaking of that release, I want to update my buyer pass. I said <laughs> buy on the collector set. Um, Denobi, Purple. are you getting anything from there? Which, but uh, from 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 which set? Which Wicket, collect Wicket and Princess Leia? I are you the set. The set. Yes. Link. What do you, you... I want to, I'm going to get it, but I'm, I think I'm not going to be able to wait. So I'm probably going to buy it from Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Yeah. I'll probably get it from Hong yeah. Kong. I'm just getting wicked. Okay. I really? say, I say, I say, I say forget yeah. the set. Yeah. It I was think... a tough decision. No, you're right. It's very, it's, it's very, very they put you in a, I don't know how they do it. Hot toys, they charge you mm. really expensive pricing and then they put you in a situation where you can't yeah. decide too as well. It's it's crazy. I, I'm I'm I what went through my head with that buyer pass on, on the last mm. set is that my biggest fear is that Hot Toys decides to make a one six scale speeder bike. And if they do make a one six scale speeder bike, hot right. toys Brandon, that Leia's value will one hundred percent go up. And I don't want right. to go back and chase her. So I would want Luke and Leia on the speeder bike uh, or right. on the speeder bike. So I would want that option. So that's the thing, you know, that's this, that's what's tricky about hot toys, you know, a year or two down yeah. the road, Hey, we're going to make the speeder bike, which the big rumor is from what I, I've read on Reddit sideshow may have lost their license. Again, that hasn't been confirmed. Yeah. Yeah, they, they, they did. They did. I, confirmed? I, I, said that, I said that on my count. Duke. I, 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 I don't know if that's true or not though. Sideshow mm. has lost their Star Wars license. Think about it. SDCC 2019. Did they have any Star Wars? Yeah. Lando skip guard. Where's that? You know, that no. was supposed to. All okay. that stuff is gone. They've no. they completely did not release SDCC 2019. They did not display one Star Wars figure. They will be just uh, to piggyback, to piggyback on what you said about, um, if they release a speeder for Hot Toys mm. and that Leia will sell out, and just imagine they release that Millennium Falcon cockpit that has the backside to where Han and Leia did their kiss in Empire. Hot Leia would have sold out like this. Yes. Hot Leia was Hot Leia was for sale for so long, yes. and it, now now it's sold out. Now it's but finally sold out. You're right. Right. So just imagine they release that that uh, cockpit. With the backside, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, where she can do her little uh, fixing up, and Han comes, and, and comes Golden in. Rod comes in and interrupts him. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. So just imagine that. Like, hot. I don't know who runs marketing for Hot Toys, but I don't know what they're smoking, man. Like, they can really push figures by just releasing just a simple diorama piece. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. it's the Hong Kong collectors. They don't have the space. That's that's. No big yeah. secret. Um, a lot of you don't have of, a market for Star Wars in Hong Kong. It's all in the U.S. and and Europe. You know, the 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 biggest complaint is is the space, which I don't get it. I know people yeah. complain about the DeLorean. The DeLorean does take up a lot of space. The car, you mean, right? the car, yeah. yeah. Like, like, look, I have the tumbler above yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. I don't know where to put it. Yeah. Yeah, the, put it in the driveway. Yeah, <laughs> huh? well, the camel tumbler. I had it. I ended up picking up discounted on Big Bad Toy Store. So, it, how much Big, did you pick that up for? Uh, it was a hundred dollars below retail at Big Bad oh, Toy Store. Okay. Yeah. Oh, and that's the one where they give you a credit or something like that. No, at the time they weren't doing that. No, okay, it, was, okay. it was just discounted. This is like 2015, 2014. Oh, wow. Back in the day. Back in the day, yeah, back in the day. Uh, oh. um, but, but. You, what are you saying? They're scared. They're scared of the the big vehicles. I I love I love the big. Oh, the bat, the bat um, is a perfect example. I wanted that. But that's so not. Bad. I don't think that's uh, six. That's not. Uh, it's one twelve scale. Uh, it's one twelve yeah, scale, it's 12 but scale. it's still right. a lot of space. It's yeah, a lot. Of, I see it. I don't need it. Uh huh. It's still in Big Bad Toy Store. Actually, you can get like, credit with it. So mm -hmm. it's a pretty good deal right now. Mm -hmm. I have it. I, I had it on display and um, oh, I, the fillers. You, 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 you. Yeah. it was yeah. a cool it's it's a cool piece. I mm -hmm. 
I kind of I'm over the whole Dark Knight thing. People are still in love uh-huh. with Joker and Heath Ledger, and I'm like, I'm done with that. Yeah. So I mm. I was thinking about selling my Joker Bank Robber 2.0, but I'm not sure. I still you have could. I have the yeah I have the Joker 2.0, and that's it. I don't want to go too crazy. People yeah. are still like like Two Face, Toy Fair exclusive Two Face. I was like, it was great when it was, but now it's like not needed. It's kind of it's kind of in the distance, and and then Two Face for the price too. I was like, it's not even worth it. Right. I would rather go with a Two Face than another Heath Ledger. Everybody's still going crazy <laughs> for that quarter scale Heath Ledger. I don't understand. I canceled. I canceled my pre order on that. Wasn't that like six hundred bucks? What was it like? Like six, five, wow. six hundred shipped, something like that. Five forty nine. Yeah, the exclusive. But I can't believe the Hot Toys community is still in love with 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 the uh, with Heath Ledger. I I, I, just I think it's because of that. I think it's just you know the whole talk about it. It just amps people up for it, and then it sells out. Yeah, <laughs> you know, like the DX11 is still going for crazy pricing. It's, yeah, but see, yeah, it goes. The DX11 I think goes for the same price as this quarter scale Joker. Yeah. And the quarter scale Joker sucks, and that's why I canceled it. I had the exclusive one with the extra head and all that stuff. The one with like that, that's sold out though, right? It's sold out, yeah. But okay. I canceled it because it was it's it just doesn't look like him to me. It, oh. It's a bad way to go for it's one fourth scale. I feel like they should have okay. nailed it, and to me, like they didn't. It looked okay. I'm not gonna okay. fine. I just it wasn't. I, doesn't it come with uh, doesn't it come with um, the jail cell at the GCPD department? No. no. Just no, a code and or is that or is that a statue? I think that's a statue. The yeah. one I'm talking about. Yeah. Is that a sideshow statue? The one that comes with the jail cell? Oh, that's a side. Yes, I know which one you're talking about. Yeah, with, with yeah, the- yeah. Oh, that's pretty yeah. nice. I, that would be a great, great you idea. Like you like sideshows, Heath Ledger? No, no, no. He's, I, he's I, talking I, about I the one six I, skill set. I'm that came it with would be a nice idea. Table. It came with a table. It came with like his chair and everything. The one where he's interrogated by. That's a 2.0. Yeah, that's the one that still goes for a lot of money, right? The one where you can change his arms out and mm-hmm. then he like where he's clapping. Yep. Yep, that's the one that still goes for a lot of money. Mhm. Yeah. No, I'm I'm done. I'm done with the whole dark night. It's too much. It, it's a competitive it's a, it's a competitive yeah. collector's market right now. We are getting hit with Star Wars. And the thing with Star Wars and the IP is that you've created factions you have the folks who love the new stuff you have the folks who love the prequels you have the folks who right. love the classic trilogy uh then then you have the mcu which keeps getting better and you, it's the mcu steroided now man the there's MCU is basically the video game that just came out uh-huh the yeah. avengers video game that yeah. looks promising that, that looks kind of and then you have the the what i would like to call the one-offs you have these characters like john wick off um, Alita. Alita, remember uh, Alita oh, is Alita. Alita. Yes, dude, I, I love that movie. Huh? Which I love that movie. I haven't even seen the movie, and I pre-ordered her. <laughs> I just, dude, it. I'm telling you right now, you should watch that movie. It's Planet, so it's Planet really Planet good. Weekend, it's that good. Like, I have it. I bought it. it. I bought the movie on Blu-ray. I pre-ordered the figure. I just haven't seen it yet. <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna. I'm, I guarantee you, after you see that movie, Denobi, yeah. you are going to secure that pre-order because. Yeah. Well, it's, I, it's I, in my pre-order list. I'm getting Alita. I was in. I, I love droids. I love androids. I love. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna love it. You're gonna go. So, so you're gonna be to, me, to me, I was sold on Alita yeah. without the movie. I'm like, oh, cool. This is a cool design. The eyes are articulated. Cool. Okay. Right. It's the system, want, right? Yeah, the eyes are articulated. Yeah. Yeah. And I also know that one-offs. Um, run the risk of 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 increasing the value down the road. So I didn't, like that. So yeah, I didn't want to like that. deal with that. I'm like, I, I don't want to have to chase her in case I love it. If I finally ever get to see the movie and then I love the movie, at least I know how the figure lined up. You know, my thing about Alita is sad because Fox Studios, right now, it's Disney. Because after Alita finished filming, Disney bought the rights or whatever, and they, they yeah. bought the monster. So I'm scared. Like, will Disney screw it up? Will Disney help it? And I'm like, I don't know, because it's like Star Wars. Disney actually helped maintain it. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know which direction to go. But like things mm-hmm. like, I can't say it because Denobi didn't see it yet. But there's violence in there that Disney will just not do. That's plain and simple. Disney just not. Well, they have that pool now. So God knows what they're going to do with him. Yeah. And they even have Aliens and Predators. And that's a gory movie. That's a really <laughs> gory movie. Yeah, but Disney right. has said that they're going to leave that 
to to like their their own their own corner. So I'm hoping like they leave Alita to their own corner, right. leave Deadpool to his own corner, and stuff like that. Like I just I just hope Disney really doesn't control it like they did with Marvel and Star Wars. Mm-hmm. But let's just get. I was I was going to see something uh, over here. They said get the uh, steam. Yeah, the helmet set because that's, the helmets our, are that's cool super. My thing with the collector set is that I'll just repaint a few helmets, get some aftermarket ones or even like a hot toy one, and just repaint it if I really mm. want a helmet. That way, I don't have to over. And your and your wicket is gonna come with the drum set, which is kind of weird. And it comes. Oh, that's why yeah. I thought, with the wicket, I thought he already came with a stormtrooper helmet because no, he comes no. from drum sticks. No, he you just had it and the display the helmet. That's what sets it apart. You don't get the drumsticks if you buy wicket you, alone. Yes, yeah, so you, you do. Yeah, you do. Do you, you do. really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes no sense. I didn't. I mean, think I'm pretty no sure I seen him holding it drumsticks. In the it, comes, it comes with him because in my buyer pass, I think that's if I can remember right, it comes with it. Oh look, Infinity War. What a good movie. <laughs> but um, let, 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 let's go over some other ones. Lay and Rick Wicked is debatable right now, mm-hmm. but I might just pull that trigger. On the collector set geeking out, that's what I said, but I'm I'm going to hold off because I think they're charging a bit too much. Um, to be honest, it's just Wicked is only two hundred because of his suit, obviously his first suit, yeah. uh-huh. so that makes sense. And okay, right. uh, Rob Swallow said, I think this is true too. When they make a scout trooper, they'll indefinitely make a speeder bike. I don't know. I yeah. Don't know if you no, no, I just verified it. I jumped yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you get the drum six. Yeah, that was I wasn't sure about that because that to me. Yeah, that, at, but you know, like honestly, if I didn't see it, I would have been saying that too. I would have been like, "Why are they including drumsticks?" You know, I what thought I mean? he came with the helmet, and that's oh, why I was like, "Oh, but, I just, but, but, I'm yeah. confused now." So if you buy the wicket, you get the drum six, but you don't get it any no helmet. Him to beat the no helmet, no no helmet, and you I was pop off that. your Return of the Jedi Stormtrooper one and just use that, <laughs> and then you pop off like a random. Like dude's head, but like I was or Iron like, Man. Yeah, want to do that? <laughs> Won't be crazy <laughs> for Kenobi's purposes. Um, I put him in a hall of armor. <laughs> put him on. Yeah, and yeah. um, I was thinking he's gonna come with that log that's displayed in every single prototype pick. Yeah. I was like, this no. thing coming with a log, what cool. Do, and then though, I go through the stuff. Yeah. Well, you can you can go to uh, PetSmart and they have those things. You can find them easily. That's, that's my, yeah. I read that online. I read that online that you can get the. They uh, actually have a beautiful, beautiful. Um, it's kind of like if you want to. I don't know if you guys have. Uh, I know Easy doesn't have it. I have the Yoda Empire Strikes Back. And once I did, I'm from Hot Toys, and I would love to display them on that log that Pet Smart has. It literally looks straight out of Dagobah. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Yeah, that's that's cool. <laughs> I, <laughs> I can see myself in, in the freaking chameleon section. Like, hmm, which kind of log do I have? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're right. My we old wicked. That's actually not a bad tip. That's pretty good. If I can yeah. go to the store and, uh, and get it, it's pretty good. And they always have like buy one, get one 50% off as well. So mm. pretty good deal. And you That's can fair. buy like the literal, literal logs. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And you just walk in your house in a collector room with a log and a freaking blood dragon on your shoulder, like I just came back from the pet store, man. <laughs> but <laughs> come over, snake wrapped around your neck and stuff. That would be hilarious. Oh man! But Moz, uh, are I was looking into the. Do you guys are you guys familiar with the de- Battle Damage or Predalian? The Hot Toys really. Like, I'm looking into him, but God, four hundred dollars for a figure that old. Uh, uh, Predalian. Mm-hmm. No. What is this? In 2020, they'll want the black card. I don't know. Stan Lee what? was talking to the Watchers. That's what it was. Yeah. The Watchers. He was talking to the Watchers. I was trying to figure out who he was. They uh, look like the, the guys. From, huh? They look like the guys from Utapau, the one that told Obi Wan, yeah. he is here. <laughs> yeah. Thousands of them. Yeah. But, uh, you in Georgia? Yes, I am in Georgia. Basically, Florida, the Florida borderline. Denobi's all the way in Vegas. Come on, man. You know I'm in Casino Town. What's wrong with you? I know you're in Casino <laughs> Town. I don't like your Instagram, but I just wanted to like perfect that. And then no, like, you're good. you're up and down. You're you're Michigan. Paradox. Yeah. What what did Paradox say? Uh, Paradox said nice. 
Nice oh. to put a face to Link the Jedi. Oh, yeah. The, there Rain. you go. The reveal. The Rey Mysterio he, reveal. Rain, he, yeah. he, he's pretty infamous on, like, Star Wars theory. They use him. They use his pictures. Um, Mark Hamill himself likes your pictures. Yeah, he liked them a couple of times. I, it's just a bunch of people, man. It's just it's crazy. I mean, it's pretty have, cool. I mean, to have Mark Hamill like your stuff at least once. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, it's cool. It's cool. I would, I would Two dollars paradox. Super chat goes to your AdSense <laughs> I have no idea how to do this. Paradox introduced me to all of this. Yeah. And Disney is becoming the shit house with rules. It's kind of true. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of true, but then they're the ones <clears throat> continuing legend. Yeah. Like I was telling Link, Star Wars could have been a Lord of the Rings if yeah. it weren't for Disney. They they pulled Star Wars out. You mean now, right? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, now. They, they no, make okay. Star Wars even whimsical than it ever could be they they outbeat harry potter they made it more severe than anything in the world right now star wars is this mm -hmm. galactic killer when it comes to films now even if it sucks yeah so it's kind of cool i mean yeah. yeah i'm the thing is with i don't i, I don't know if sup ladies <laughs> sup ladies <laughs> um <laughs> but uh the thing about uh, the sequel trilogy is there's no direction you gotta go you know there's no right, direction. Guys. See ya. See ya. Bye. 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 Family stuff. Bye. Take care, Bye. 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 Nice talking Bye. to you. <laughs> All right. Yeah. But um, like, what were you saying? I'm saying like the sequel trilogy. There's, it's like, of course, we want to love all Star Wars, but you know, sometimes it's just like you know, with these sequel movies, there's just no direction at all. I know? feel like. Why did they do the whole switcheroo with the directors? What? Why? Why they had okay. to? Okay. So oh, here's the What's situation the with. That? Okay. Originally, J.J. Abrams was supposed to helm all three films. Uh huh. That was the plan. Yeah. Originally, that. that's well, what. Yeah. That's what, so I would have preferred it that way. That way, he could have told his story from the beginning, middle, and end, just the way oh. Lucas did in both trilogies. So then, J.J. backed out and said, "You know." Uh, you know, then Ryan, then they got Ryan Johnson to do the second. So JJ one. backed out. Well, I don't. I think he said, "I only just want to do one." Uh huh. You know, I just wanted to do the first one. And then here we go, and, JJ. It's like, oh, right, I'm back. Yeah, you should have stayed. Yeah, that sucks. And then they got Ryan Johnson. See, even before that, they had a script from Lucas and Michael Arndt. Those two, they had a script, and they sold it when they sold Disney. They and gave them the script. They were, they were releasing. Prototype pictures and art from the Force Awakens of the Millennium Falcon going down into underwater. underwater. Well, that's the art the of uh, yeah, that's the concept art for the Force Awakens because they so have a JJ book Adams, at JJ Adams, JJ Abrams <laughs> had it, had it, and Adams and Ab Abrams, I, I, mm -mm. but he had it from the get go. Like he had that idea, like the Death Star, Palpatine, like he was a. Like we talked about before, he was the heart warmer. He's like the nostalgic type of director that makes us like it out of bringing mm. back characters and re and all that stuff. Well, Ryan Johnson's just totally butchered shit and brought in like a pink haired purple lady who destroys a whole entire Imperial fleet or First Order fleet yeah. with uh, hyperspeed. With the light speed, when That's, you know, like it's just stupid. But um, um, drumsticks are made out of dead stormtrooper arms. Like over a roasting fire and like the ends. I can see that would be a pretty cool idea though. I wonder if they are. You know, if you think about Ewoks, you know? Yeah. They're wicked little little beings. So if you think about them, like they're about to cook up. The rebellion would have been toast without the Ewoks. I know. There were some severely bad and they were made to look cute. That's kind of funny how George Lucas made it. They were made to look cute because it, it, George Lucas yeah. made movies that like kids film. <laughs> but like, man, they're evil little beings, and um, you know that uh, when in the special editions, he he made them bl he gave them like blinking eyes. They never in the originals they didn't have they never used to blink. It was just and that's what they said. The Hot Toys ones they wanted the eyes to blink, and I think that would have been a little bit much. How like, are you gonna do that though? I don't know how you can make Hot Toys eyes their eyes blink. Why would you want that? That's the thing. If you're going to do, if you movie want his eyes closed, movie masterpiece. We'll do another portrait. Yeah. Movie masterpiece. And then hoping the Jawa droid pack. So the Jawa does come with the droid pack. It got to because it was, you know, I, you know, I bought the sideshow Jawas and then I had to return them because of their bodies. 
what what happened i i had the jawas from sideshow but uh -huh. the bodies were way too flimsy they could not stand up on their own they come with like a little circular base that you attach to the foot and even with those they were falling over they're i think they're sideshow. great figures and that's why sideshow lost their their license i'm not talking <laughs> trash about them kind of am yeah i'm not talking trash about them but sideshow was never great I mean, if you think about it, every single figure on the market right now, it's one six scale at Star Wars under a hundred bucks. If you look at it, all it's it's all sideshow. It's like right. all their figures are just going to trash. Hot Toys has completely wiped them out of the market. And that leads to Hot Toys being superior, which is trouble because then they can come out with prices. We have no choice. <laughs> they have no comp competition. And that's an you issue. Know. For the longest, I wanted that 3PO from Sideshow because Hot Toys didn't make a 3PO. I was, I was about to buy that, too. Yeah, and then I said, you know what? I'll just wait because I don't want to end up buying 3PO from Sideshow and something and then goes side, wrong. And Hot Toys releases a freaking diecast 3PO. Then that sucks. Uh, dude, that would like an Iron Man kind of thing. That would be insane if they release a diecast. They should be, they should be selling <laughs> set machines at the line. They should. That way we can get. They do. Them. If you go to those um, party <laughs> stores, they have like sometimes Star Wars stuff, and you can buy like Vader helmets or Stormtrooper helmets. Really? Like, that, and then you're like, I'm thinking like, yeah, you can just buy these aftermarket ones and just freaking paint right. it off. Like I can easily make it look just as good as a Hot Toys one, shiny, beautiful, and all that stuff. Yeah. But, um. Somebody has a question for you, Ben. Moss is talking about at a hot Leia. A, a Hoth Leia or a hot Leia? I'm Probably right. Hoth Leia. A because Hoth Leia, Leia is right now for 208 new. From where? From Big Bad? If it's 208 brand new, that's a good deal. Um, and but he, I wonder where he uh, where he's seeing it. It's interesting, yeah. Because I know Sideshow sold out of it and all those other websites. Did. And I doubt Big Bad has him for 208. I would doubt that because if they're sold yeah. out, they would hold Let out. Hoth Leia. Hoth Leia. Yeah, that's what I was assuming. If he, if he can grab that for 208. 208? I would jump on that now because once it's gone, you will never be able to find it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So we're going to end the live stream. If you guys have any more questions, type it down below. Type get mad and then we're gonna check out we're gonna answer just a few more questions if you guys want to ask anything if i see anyone pop up in the next couple minutes i'll ask them away mm -hmm. um but uh sequels are just cash grabs pretty much i mean mm -hmm. that's how you look at it though i mean some people... i mean look pretty much all movies are cash grabs but i yeah. i see what you're saying they're just they're not putting it's very watered down they're they're not they're not putting any the thing about George Lucas' Star Wars is it has mythology. It has the hero's journey. It has the beginning, the middle, and an end. That's this the thing. One, That's the thing. It's, like, it's just like a relay. It's like a relay race. Like, hey, you run to a point, give it to somebody, and hey, you know what? You're on your own, like but... Star Wars. Star Wars keeps it <laughs> fantasized. Alien, stuff like that. This is science fiction. George Lucas has made his movies to be fantasies. And that's why I like his stuff. But like, if you're talking about cash cash grabs, I always thought Avengers were ca cash grabs. But once you like a movie, you start to say, "Make more cash, so I can spend." And it's mm. just how you look at it and stuff like that. But um, uh, the new one will be better. It's directed by J.J. Abrams. Yeah, and then he corrects himself. Yeah, I, I listen oh. uh, honestly. At this point, there's no way you can do any worse than what the last movie was yeah. you just can't it's impossible if this guy brings back jar jar binks to you know what i'm saying just play the flute half the movie i like i like oh uh uh John like Williams jar -Jar. the whole entire score from the entire yeah, trilogy. And, well yeah but the thing is he's been doing that though he's like if you remember if you remember i don't know when the last time you watched the last jedi but if you remember when they were in the battle of crate Hey, they played the, the trench theme. Dun, dun, da -da -da, da -da -da, da -da they played it in the crate when they were under the mines. That's crazy because I don't yeah, even they, do that. They did. Remember, I I'm, want I'm to rewatch it, but then I'm like, I start the first scene and I'm like, I can't. And I usually here's the thing. I shut it off. I'm serious. I shut it off. I'm a, I'm a huge soundtrack aficionado. So every time I hear a theme, I know where it's from. I know, oh, they used it here. That's pretty awesome. 
That's you cool. Know? I would like to hear that in Rise of Skywalker, like him using all themes, but like, dude, imagine they have a yeah, like across the stars, the Padme and Anakin theme. Um, appreciate it, guys. Um, we're gonna log out. We're gonna s attend to these last few ones. Have a good evening. I'll chat with y'all later to infinity and beyond. <laughs> and it's supposed to be with you. You hear about time travel in episode nine? I don't want to hear yeah. about time travel. The, uh, I don't know if you easy. I don't think you watched. Uh, did you watch the Rebels episode with that? No. Okay, so that's what he's referring to. There's an episode in there. Um, it's called The World Between Worlds. Is this true? Rob Swallow? They, Do you speak the truth? They say Ray is Anakin's mom. Yeah, there's a theory going around there that someone put on Reddit that Ray is actually, actually Shmi Skywalker. So she goes through a portal or something like that, which is kind of like, inception level kind of stuff but that's crazy i don't know and then what i think wato is the father and he <laughs> i don't know but see you guys later we're gonna end this live stream hope you guys enjoyed it um uh we're planning to do this every week at five o'clock eastern standard time tuesdays that way we can have link you should be available this time around. And then Denobi, you should be able, available this time around. So that's why I'm kind of doing it at this time, a little bit earlier. Um, um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. hope you guys and in, in, in all that stuff. And The Last Jedi destroyed all my reasoning to make my any future Star Wars pur pur purchases, except for the OG you know what? trilogy. I want to cool. say something to that. You know, um, I get it. I honestly understand. But for me, it's just so hard for me like to see – a perfect Mark Hamill sculpt, like the last shot I sculpt that Hot Toys made. Great. And I just can't refuse it because it's Mark Hamill. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's, it's I can, That's the thing about these figures. That's what I do. I get these figures and I put them in my own scenarios and I, you know what I'm saying? I post those and I make my own story with it. It doesn't have to be canon. It doesn't have uh -huh. to be their Star Wars. I can make it my Star Wars and that's what's awesome about it. You know, Especially so you can buy crate. some of these figures. Especially that crate loop. Crate Oh man, I got a lot of ideas for that already. But That's crate so Luke perfect. is gonna be incredible. Because here's the thing: that crate Luke is probably the mid-aged Luke that we still haven't seen yet. So the all-powerful, you know, the all crazy, yeah, basically Jedi Knight Master, great Jedi. Kind of like I, the Luke, the Luke that's transitioned into Grand Jedi Master. You know. Alrighty. So with that being said, see you guys. Peace out. Hope you enjoyed the live stream. Hope to do it again at five Eastern Standard Time. Um and link. May the post be with you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Again, all of you. I appreciate it. And if I ever die, I would love to hold you. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just don't know how to do outros. I gotta end the broadcast. <laughs> Bye. And that's the ball game, folks.